everyone, and welcome back to Little Books, Great Stories. Today we will be reading That Is Not My Name. In this book, a little girl named Mirha has her first day of school. But when she gets to school, no one can pronounce her name right. Can you imagine? At school, has anyone not pronounced your name right? Well, people at my school always get my name wrong. My name is Nehal, but they say Nihal, Nehal, um, Nihal. They say it in all sorts of ways like that. But that's okay, and when I corrected them, they kept trying. It might take a little time, but they will get it right. So make sure to subscribe to Little Books Great Stories, like the video, and let's start reading. That's not my name. My name is Mirha. Mirror as in miracle, ha as in ha ha. Good morning, Mirha. It was Mirha's first day of school. In the morning, Baba made her favorite breakfast. Mama kissed Mirha's forehead and Nanny waved them goodbye. I love you, Mirha. Good luck, Mirha. Mirha had been waiting for months to start school. She was so excited to learn, to play, and most of all, to make friends. She shyly stood in front of the class and said, My name is Mirha. Mirha thought her name was simple and easy, but the other kids couldn't say it right. They stretched out the I until it sounded like an E, and their R sounded wrong. Some people even forgot the H. Hey, Mina! Miriam! Mirha! Hey, Miro! Mida! Hi, Nihor! Miha! Neha! Ya, yeah, Marmo! Even some of her teachers said it wrong. Is Mina here? Here? Mirha didn't want to be called Mina for the rest of the year, but she was too shy to speak up and correct her teacher. Hayden asked Mirha if he could call her Maya. He said that would be easier for everyone to say. She wanted to shout, That's not my name! But she didn't. Mirha's first day hadn't gone how she had imagined at all. Why can't anyone say my name right? She wondered sadly. Mama, Baba, and Nanny can say it. Why can't anyone else? Mirha felt like giving up. She thought about changing her name to something easier, something other kids would think was normal. If she had a different name, no one would get it wrong when she ordered hot chocolate at cafes. Maybe she could finally find a keychain with her name on it. Maybe she could make some friends. When she arrived home, Mirha told Mama about her plan to change her name, but Mama didn't look happy. You have a beautiful name, she said. Mirha means happiness in Arabic, Mama said. The first time I heard you laugh, I knew that it fit you perfectly. I know your name is different from your classmates, but that isn't a bad thing. It just means that it is unique and special. Your name is something to be proud of, and no one can take that away from you. Mama said Mirha shouldn't change her name for anyone. If people can remember names like Beethoven and Tchaikovsky and Michelangelo, they can remember Mirha. You're right, Mama. I'm proud of my name, and I love what it means. I can't wait to tell the whole world that my name is Mirha. Mirha kept Mama's words close to her when she went back to school the next day. 
My name is Mirha, not Maya. She told Hayden proudly and explained how to pronounce it properly. I'll make sure to say your name right. Mirha said, "Hayden, I'm also really sorry that I hurt your feelings yesterday." When he asked if they could play together, Mirha smiled. She just made her first friend at school. <gasps> Sometimes people still got it wrong, but that was okay, because now Mirha knew what to say. Hey, Mirha, that's not my name. Now Mirha has so many new friends at school. They all have unique, beautiful names, and she always makes sure she says them right. I like my name because it means little loved one," said Iko. Jasper joined in and said he was named after his granddad. Mirha loves how different they all are, and she's excited to make even more friends. Maybe you could be a friend too. Hi, my name is Mirha. What's yours? All names have stories behind them. What's yours? Thank you for listening to today's read aloud. Please come back again next week for another one here at Little Books Great Stories. Bye.